Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. I am Vex, and welcome to Vex Out. So, since it's Valentine's Day, <laughs> we are going to do something a little different. So, you know, you know me, I'm nihilistic, anarchistic, sapphic, and all those fun things. So I can't do just a standard, normal dating sim or anything like that for Valentine's Day. I'm going to do something super fucked up. So... I want you to come on this journey with me. I'm sure you've already read in the description of what this video is, but until then, whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There is only fresh perspective and new beginnings. This is a love story. Slay the princess. And there she is. Doesn't she look all sweet and cute? All of us rubbed out. Look. Don't worry, I'm just gonna murder you. It's fine. So, I have seen bits and pieces of this, and I love how freaking weird it is. So I want you to come on this little adventure with me. Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Cool story, bro. Ex end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because you locked her up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? There's my answer! Do I get some sort of reward for this? And okay, thanks. <laughs> Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution! Silently continue to the cabin, turn around and leave. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Nope! Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and slay the, uh, princess? Ugh! Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin, I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her, maybe I won't. Yes, we'll see. Yes, I'll definitely know where I'm going. It's literally what I just said. <laughs> the only thing that matters is where where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the new <laughs> coming up a new zombie on my own. <laughs> Gonna go for a walk in the opposite direction now. <laughs> there won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. Cool. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Cool. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. No. Okay, okay, I'm going in the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again, leave. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? <laughs> it's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. I don't care, I'm not killing a princess. Good, maybe everybody should die. <laughs> Thank you for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. Maybe I'm not, maybe not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Or you're not emotionally. And quietly continue to the bathroom. 
When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. Listen here, motherfucker. I know the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, but, but, look at how everything is right now. I think we could all have a, you know, a hard reset, factory and reset. last I checked, you're part of everyone too. Yep. So if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. Nope, I'm fine with a hard reset. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Yay! Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I'll start walking a different direction. Again! In fact... I'm just gonna keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. Cause fuck you, that's why. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Again, you say that like I'm not totally okay with that. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. Fabric of reality starts to fall apart? At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin an infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Damn right I do. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. Hey, don't kink shame me. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Yay! Confetti! Chapter 2, The Stranger. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Am I getting a terrible sense of deja vu? Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay. No. You're kidding. She actually ended the last war or the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard! You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. That that's that's a very strong possibility right there. But I died. The whole world ended. What am I doing here? Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go into the cabin. Why? Yeah, okay, heading to the cabin now, or I'm definitely going to slay the princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I'm going to the cabin. Silently proceed. Where's you bastard? There we go. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. And the plot thickens. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. <laughs> okay, so the voice of contrition is me. <laughs> the entire world <laughs> ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. <laughs> oh yeah, that is so me. If by ruining my day, 
You mean ruining everyone's day forever? Then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. The, uh, we've already read those ones, so... Yeah, let's lie. Okay, heading to the cavern. We're definitely gonna slay that princess. Wink. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. I'm just being a dick. I'm technically not lying to you. I'm just telling you what you want to hear. Sin of a mission. Thank you very much. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Okay, listen here, buddy. You're not the boss of me. I've already fucked with your <laughs> with your quest line, so I'll do what I want. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Thank you, other me voice. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Yes. Yes, I am. I mean, he is. Quick save. Let's keep an open mind. Since there's literally the nowhere else to go. The is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths. Its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? Thank you, contrarian me voice. No, we're taking the knife. <sighs> have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Thank you. Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Nah, no, we're not. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. It is stressful geometry, honestly, yes. Like, why does this look like candy corn? Ow. Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. I love how the background is completely different from the, the stuff in the foreground. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. Again, I agree with the contrarian voice. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. And, and are we not going to say anything about this whole space time here? Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror. Take the blade. Let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. 
Um, clawed hand? But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Well, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Ooh. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Got a little knife cursor now. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? Like a ninja, hold it backwards. The other way, thumb at the bottom. It will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Yeah, holding your thumb at the bottom of the blade, or the, the hilt does make you look cooler. Just saying. Oh no, hold the blade the other way. You Fuck switch that. your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Yeah. Stabby, stabby. E, 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 e. E, e, X. I won't write was here because I'm sure no one else will ever step in this cabin ever again. Yes! Isn't this so much better? You're so cool! <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. Fuck yeah! It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Oh, how much of a shit server do I want? Haha, yes! Do it! <laughs> Seriously. Ugh, you throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. <laughs> I am an overgrown child. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there. Done that. Yep. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. I'm cool with it. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Cool, it's an Escher. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it, the kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. That's not concerning at all. No, no thank you. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're going to die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make... Whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin this <laughs> Yep. Take the harsh stairs to the left. Take the center staircase. Take the soft stairs to the right. Metal! You step to the left. The path is cruel against your feet, the impact of each step sending pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left in them to feel. The air around you grows cold the further you progress. At first a barely noticeable drop, quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice, your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapour. So, living in Canada, got it. You shudder against it as you continue down the stairway. Losing yourself in the bone-deep chill. Okay, so living in Alberta. Got it. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears. 
and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just going to stand there? Hi. What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Shouldn't have taken that fistful of mushrooms. What mushrooms? Where am I? The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> You're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit. Try and get our bearings. She seems normal. Besides the glowing eyes in the darkness and all. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down here was... weird. Like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? For all I know, you're locked down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? You're apparently a threat to the world, so I was sent to your slave. Getting down here was weird. What? Like you need me to hold your hand and tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? Oh god, she's nagging me. We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out, and barely a way in. Hi. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters, but I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Yep. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Okay. <sighs> and memory suppressed. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. Thank you. There's more of you now. What's your name? Okay, uh... I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are. I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. Regretfully think about the time you threw the blade at the wall. Why are all three of these highlighted at the same time? And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. I do! Neither do I which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. The one he made us throw out the window. No, I stick by that decision. I wasn't the one who threw it. Oh, come on, you told us to. Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestions. No, I stick to my decision. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. Yep. You 
still can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Ma'am. Princess. It doesn't matter. I've been down here for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? None of them have names. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. Hmm. For all I know, you're locked down here for a reason. You know why you're down here? Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. You need to. Cheer the fuck up. <laughs> oh, don't be coy. We both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster. Are and the second all? I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. Cool. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but we can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? Can't even follow what's going on anymore. We need to get out of here. This whole place is making me itch. If I let you out, what are you going to do? I don't think what I'd do really matters. Come on, we got room for one more. There I we go. Want to live my life. I'm a prisoner here, and whether or not you shoved me down here, you're practically my captor at this point. Anything I'd say is tainted by that. Besides, you, you already know what I'm going to do. If you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. Not a single real answer. At least aside from Miss Blood and Destruction, it's infuriating, like isn't it? Whose buttons are there for us to press? Whose skin is there for us to get under? Not exactly how I'd put it, but I don't disagree. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. I'm going to get you out of here, trying for your. I don't know what you are, I can't trust you, I can't trust anything, we've basically. That seems like the contrarian thing to do. Just leave the basement. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. Cool. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Well, that point is true. I'm enjoying fucking Luckily everything. For all, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? I think he's gone. Cool. We were never going to salvage this, were we? Nope. What, what happened, happened to us? us? What are what we? Are we? There, there are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead, and, dead and, and the others, and the others they, just they just don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. We, we can, can feel them moving around in spaces they, they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. So Did you do this? Did we do this? Can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? We should help her. I think we did this. Yes, we did. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had 
consequences. Of course I do. I made this choice. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. please. It's going to be okay. I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to get be fixed. Nope. Destroy everything. I'm not gonna fix you. Same nothing. The illusion of choice. When everything is possible, nothing is. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear you reply. She's gone. Replaced by something else. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go looking for her. The narrator is gone. I think I was supposed to look the mirror. He is. Does that mean the world ended? Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. No. <laughs> don't do that. I'm begging you, don't do this. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. The body. It's you. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to gather. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you? Gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? You let her out of there. Do you know the narrator and the muffin man? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the world beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity, destroy her body. Or destroy your body. How can the world have ended if we are talking? Fair point. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey, but they will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I am a person. I think that you are like me. I got a dragon hand, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Do you know the Muffin Man? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. She 
she is part of me and part of me is her. But were you always the princess or are you just making her part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? I mean, depends. I would like to keep a distance between me and a car, but you know, oh, being hit by one. So those two things merging don't really, you know, give me a sense of, you know, peace. <laughs> Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. I know only that they are. Great answer. Uh, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces do you do I need to find? And what if you don't let me, or if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay a princess and stop her from destroying the world. And if I help you, is that what you're going to do? Okay, make me forget. Everything until we meet again. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Alright, and what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything grows dark. And you die. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yep. Eh, eh, eh. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay. Yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, no, uh. I haven't decided yet. I was here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. 
maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. What that unchained hand do? Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. Hey, I do what I want. We'll be fine. The contrarian voice might be gone, but I am still here to fuck with you. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. Relationship, are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What would you have me say about, or what would you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked. We've talked enough. Uh. You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't. Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Are you coming on to me? Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Deflect. <laughs> what are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have reasons for keeping inf that information secret from me. Don't be a fucking drone. No, if I'm going to be honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I am inclined to trust them. Main sound. Princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me, and I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person and a subjugating monarch, no less. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your Royal Highness, or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. 
Remember her from the fractal uh, personalities? Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? Yep. You know why you're here. I'm getting you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked away down here for at least a bit. We get to know each other better. I'll decide what to do. Keep her locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have Hot. to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Okay, let's get you out of here. Examine the chains. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. Oh, for the love of... Good. I'm glad you've come to your senses. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there wasn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe there's a key still lying around up there somewhere. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. I'll be here. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yep. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. Okay, first of all, you go through the wrist, because there's a bunch of disconnected bones in there, hold together by cartilage and muscle. You don't go through the bone, you fucking idiot. You cut into her flesh. Ooh, now the knife of my, as my cursor has a little bit of blood on it. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Slay the princess, 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 slay the princess. Warn her. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. What makes you think I want to get out of here alive? Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. Fuck. 
you. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark and you die. I hope it was worth it. Yay! You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's so cold, focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. What? No way! Why would you even think that? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just... Look how reasonable she's being. We should just... Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do. I'm... You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? Sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an- Thank you. Maybe now we can just- Against your better judgment, you step forward to- We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here. Already heard all I can this. assure you there's- So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Don't just tell her that. That's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of... <laughs> monster? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... Dangerous? dangerous? They haven't told you anything, have they? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here, whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to... That doesn't sound right to me. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open... But you don't really know me. She's right about one thing. Like I said, so do you trust me, the prisoner? She's wrong. This... Oh? Have you... You know why... So this is ultimately what we're going to do this time. But, going to fuck with her and lull her into a false sense of security. Oh, you have to- You walk up to the chains, binding their large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked- Yeah, we've already gone through this. Well, you do have that big, sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear someone else here. Hey, let me out of here. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Don't worry, keep your fucking pants on, we're gonna kill the princess. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. 
this would have been so easier for whom? Easier for everyone. False sense of security. We're gaining her trust. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut. You won't like what happens. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down. The princess See? flinches as you strike and your weapon sinks into her shoulder. False sense of security. We got her trust, we got close, and now we stabbed her in the side of the tit by the look of that picture. Well, no, okay, I guess here's cleavage, so okay, back of the shoulder. You bastard. If I have to kill you to leave this place, I'll do it. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's unarmed and there's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you raise your blade to strike again, she kicks out, knocking your legs out from under you. Hot. The two of you struggle on the ground. You lash out with the blade, slicing wherever you can. Her fists connect with your body again and again, each blow stronger than the last, shattering bone and rupturing tissue with reckless abandon. Forget trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. You roll out of her grasp and shakily push yourself back to your feet. <laughs> Though every inch of you is in pain, the princess probably has it worse. Blood pours out from countless gashes, staining her once pristine dress. She pauses for a moment, catching her breath, staring at you with wild eyes. We can still turn this around. Give up, finish the job, run for the stairs and lock her in the basement, maybe she'll bleed out. The princess is still chained to the wall. There's nothing she can do to stop you from getting out of here. What if she doesn't succumb to her wounds? Whatever she is, she's so much more dangerous than I thought she'd be. You rush up the stairs and dive past the threshold. You're safe. For now. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Oh, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Well, she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. Good. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want, all it does is ease my guilty conscience. Whatever you are, you're not a princess. Go ahead and waste your energy, I'll be waiting for you. Oh. These are grayed out. So all of that just wasn't it. was an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Bang on that door all you want, so it'll only make you bleed out faster. These are promises. Sooner or later, you're going to have to sleep. And I'll make sure you never see the light of day again. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. 
First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. The nightmare. A faintly outlined path lies before you, there you are. I told you I was going to find you. You're creepy. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? Liver. What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? Lungs. What happens Liver. after you killed me last time? Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Set Liver. here to stop you from destroying Lungs. the world. I just Heart. can't let you leave. Lungs. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? Nerves. Right, if you Heart. want to work together, can you at Lungs. least turn off this whole Liver. organ shutting down situation? Heart. How Lungs. about I just kill you instead? Liver. Yeah, because that's worked. Nerves. We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to even try and kill you. So do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Okay, let me out of here. Leave together. Or let's get out of here. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. Leave together. Run. Slay the princess. I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you are here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want... Liver. 
Mm. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. I'm at a conundrum. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. We're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No! Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Only until, until your heart finally gives out. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. And then, when you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. Heart, and before lungs, too long, nerves, you'll be there heart, too. Lungs, That's liver, how this all nerves, works, right? Heart, Lungs, this doesn't end nerves, until you let heart, me out. Lungs, and a lot can happen nerves, before heart, then. Lungs, I'm liver, sure I can nerves, get creative. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, oh, I'm going to be an lungs, asshole. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, Are you serious? Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, <sighs> you fling the blade heart, into the void, lungs, liver, denying nerves, nerves, yourself the heart, opportunity lungs, to ever slay liver, her nerves, and finish heart, your mission. I can't. She's non-corporeal. Nobody's happy here, yeah, but liver, maybe nerves, it's for the best. Heart, lungs, you liver, poor deluded nerves, thing. Heart, lungs, Do you think a single liver, moment of nerves, bravery heart, changes lungs, you into something liver, you're not? Nerves, heart, I am lungs, what I liver, am. Nerves, and you're heart, always lungs, going to be a coward. Nerves, heart, Let's see what she comes back she as. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold. The complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. Out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out. A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. You let me out. Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Let me out. No, 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 no. No, no. What's what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Oops, I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Your body is dead, but you live on. All right, so I think I'm going to call it there. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of- Is a princess, yes. Alright, so thank you so much for joining me on that fucking weird adventure. Uh, so yeah, this is Slay the Princess, uh, find it on Steam if you want to play this and find all the weird varying options for yourself, and I hope you have enjoyed this Blah, Valentine's special and I have no idea what I'm doing next week so I hope you tune in and figure it out until next time thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoy watching as much as I've enjoyed making this goodbye